My glasses are so funny today. I can't see anything. How am I going to read for story time? Hmm. I do see a shape that's at the end of my glasses. Can you tell me what shape they are? If you get it right, then I think I can take off my glasses. They're circles! Ha 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 ha! I tricked you. These aren't my glasses. These are just cups from our activity bag. Ha 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 ha! Okay. Thank you for joining me for story time, Astros. And since I already said what we were learning about this week, and you probably know too, we're going to be reading a book about shapes. So, in this book, there are real life pictures of different kinds of shapes that we normally see outside. And I'm wondering during this book if you can name some of the shapes with me. So let's look at the different kinds of shapes that are in our world. Shapes by Scholastic. Look at the shape of this page. Run your fingers around the edge of the page. What shape did you trace? Here, I'll do it with you. Let's take our finger and we're gonna trace the page with our finger. Was it a square like this? Was it a circle like this? Was it a hexagon like this? Was it a rectangle like this? Was it a triangle like this? What kind of shape is it, Astros? Square, awesome. Squares, circles, hexagons, rectangles, and triangles are regular shapes. Each shape is easy to recognize. What shape can you see here? In what ways are these squares similar to one another? In what ways are they different? What is the difference, Astros? What do you see? In what ways are these triangles, triangles similar to one another? In what ways are they different? Astros, triangles can come in all different sizes and they can look all different, just like these ones here. What do you notice, Astros? What's different about them? We can find regular shapes almost anywhere. Squares, circles, I see another shape inside that big circle. Can you find those shapes? We see rectangles, triangles, and even hexagons. We can also find regular shapes in nature. This is a honeycomb made by bees. Each honeycomb cell has six sides and each side is the same length. Each cell is a hexagon. Tessellation, wow, that is a long word. Can we clap it out together? Tessellation is a word used to describe shapes that fit together without leaving gaps. Bricks tessellate, and so do wooden blocks like these. Sometimes the shape of things seem to change when we look at them from a different angle. What shape are these cans? What kind of shapes do you see on the cans on the top? Let's look at the next page. These are the same cans, and now they seem to be a different shape. What shapes can you recognize here? Wow, it's a rainbow, rainbow of shapes. Can you see the curve and then the point that they meet at, and then the other curve, the point they meet at, the end? It's a heart. Oh, and what shapes can you see now? The shapes are used everywhere. Some are used to give messages to drivers. 
What do these signs mean? What shapes can you find in each sign? Why are some road signs set in a circle? And why are others in a triangle? Maybe that's a question that you can ask a grown up when you are in your car or walking on the street you can ask, what does that sign mean? Many things are shaped for their job. Why is a clock face round? Can you guess? Why aren't wheels square? Look for shapes inside other shapes. How many regular shapes can you find in this bicycle? Maybe you can pause the video for a second and look. And what kind of shapes do you see in the steam engine? Not everything has a regular shape. Clouds have ever-changing shapes, and so do trees as they sway in the wind. You have a shape too, but it is not made up of squares and circles. How is your face different than the face of this clown? What does the clown have on his face, asked Rose? What shape do you see? Thank you for reading the story with me, Astros. We saw all different kinds of shapes in this story. And I'm wondering if you can find squares like this, or if you can find circles or rectangles or stars, triangles, um, hearts that are inside of your home. Last semester, I had a really hard time finding triangles in my home. Do you have any triangles in your home? I wonder if you can find any kind of shapes inside your house or when you go outside and you find all kinds of shapes. Remember, you can go back and read this book again so that you can look at the shapes and be inspired to find them or if you can find them in your home. I hope you have fun shape hunting. Bye.